Okay, so this video is to go with the latest tutorial on Spice of Bear blog, and that is basically a zoom effect that you can add to your images, which will also include a slide out caption. So when you upload images to your blog, um, into your blog posts, uh, when the visitors hover over the image, the image will darken and zoom, and basically a, a caption or description will slide across the image in which you can uh, describe the images. And I have a practice board open here with an example of, of uh, exactly what we're doing. So here's just a picture of a screenshot of Spice Up Your Blog. And when we're, when we're done, this is what will happen. When the, Im when the image is hovered over, you can see the caption appears. This is the caption for the Spice Up Your Blog screenshot. And it kind of darkens out and zooms. So let's look at it again. There you can see that's exactly what we're getting when somebody hovers over the image on your blog. So... We do this using just a small bit of CSS code, so there's no scripts or anything that might slow down your blog, and it's really easy to do. Um, perhaps the video will make it easier, as we do need to add just two little snippets of code to the images that you upload as well, but we'll see exactly how that's done. So I have the post here just ready to publish on Spice of Your Blog. If you're looking at this on YouTube or elsewhere, there'll be a link in the description to come to see the post and get the code that's needed. We're just going to follow the steps that I have in the post here, and we're going to add this effect to the images on the test blog, which I have ready here. We're going to use this test blog here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add the CSS, and to do this, uh, we follow this first step, which is uh, in the dashboard, click the drop-down menu, choose Template, Customize, Advanced, and add CSS. I'll have a video popped in here when I publish the post that will also show you just how to, um, when the post is published, just how to do that. Okay, so let's go and do that on our test blog. So the first thing we want to do is click the drop-down menu, we're going to choose Template. When that comes up here, now we get the option to edit HTML or customize, which brings us to the template designer, which is what we want. So when we click customize, that will bring us through here to the template designer. The options here are on the left, so let's drag over the camera. And we want to choose advanced. We want to scroll down here and choose add CSS. Now you can see I already added some CSS here previously. If you have, you can just scroll down on the right hand side, you see the little scroll bar here. Just scroll down to the bottom and after all the code, just click in there and click enter a few times to give yourself some space. We'll bring back our camera. Okay, so that's the first part now. We have the CSS section open. And now we want to copy and paste the following code into the CSS section, then click apply to blog. So this small piece of code here is exactly what makes the effect work. So let's copy that. We're going to go back. We're going to paste it in. And then in the top right hand side here, we'll say apply to blog, which we'll click, and it says template applied. So that's that part done. So now the CSS code has been added for the effect to work, so the effect can work. So the next part is when you upload your images. So the images and pictures that you upload to your blog, we now need to add two little snippets to them images that will make this effect appear on the image. So it doesn't have to appear on all images, just the images you add this snippet to. I covered that really quickly here, but it really the, the video will help a lot in exactly how we do that. So on that test blog, which I just added the code to, I have a post here ready. And what I'm gonna do is just quickly upload an image. I'll upload the same screenshot image that I had in the demo, which is ready to go here. So when I upload that image, and there it is. Now if I just publish this right now, it's just updated and view the blog. Yeah, so if I just publish that image now, you'll see that when we hover on the image, nothing happens. Okay, so because that's because we don't have the, these two little snippets of code. So the two pieces of code we have to add, we have to add in HTML mode. So let me explain that for you. So in the post editor in the top left hand side here, you'll see you have compose mode and HTML mode. Now the default is compose mode, and I know that most people use compose mode, compose mode. Um, but for this we need to use to use HTML mode. So let's click on this. And when we click on HTML mode, we see the code that makes up our image. Now, you don't have to understand this, all you have to know is the two pieces of code that we have to put in. So the first piece of code we're going to put in, it goes after basically the anchor text of the A, and you have to hyper reference href, and basically in between the A and the href here, you can see here. So in between the two of these, we're just going to click, and we're going to put in the first part, which I have here, which is a class. And this class equals, and then in between your quotation marks, title zoom. So, oh, back to this, and I want to put in class equals title zoom, and then another quotation mark. That's the first part done. 
And the second thing we have to do is we have to add the actual text that makes up the caption. So the text that we want to appear on the image. Okay, so the first part, the class, will make it work. The second part, let's put a space, is basically the text we want to appear. So to do that, we put in title equals, so once again, in between quotation marks, we put in the text we want to appear. So this is for this image. And we'll close that with another quotation mark. And there's the two pieces we've added. So we've put in class equals title zoom, and then the title equals and the text we want to appear. So let's update this post. And we go back to our image, refresh the page. And this time when we hover over the image, we should get the effect. And there we go. This is a caption for this image. Okay, so perhaps the most confusing part for people may be um, adding those two little snippets but um, if you look at the video you, again you should have no problem picking out exactly what you need and in the post I have the um, the class here and I'll also have more information on the title text that you will have that would be your caption and that's pretty much it thanks for watching the video